I've got to say, I had no idea what I would be watching when this film appeared on a trashy horror channel one evening. I mean, directed by David Cronenberg, a pretty good cast, interesting in visuals and story, and yet, so far as I can tell, it's passed out of most people's memories. I mean, what could possibly have happened in sci-fi in 1999 to have completely eclipsed this film from everyone's sides at the time? Was there some other film talking about humanity's relationship with virtual reality at the time? Oh, I see. Well, we can give it the time of day now, can't we? It's the near future, and the film centres on a new game being released for a system the film calls a game pod that plugs into a port based in the player's spine. Yes, alright, moving on. At the secret pre-launch event with the game's highly furtive and brilliant designer Allegra Geller, played by Jennifer Jason Lee, all in attendance are attacked by terrorist groups seeking to end society's use of the game pod, seeing it as heretical. Allegra escapes with her inexperienced bodyguard Ted Peichel, Jude Law, and the pair go to ground. Fearing her game may have been damaged during the attack, Geller convinces Peichel to enter the game with her to check that her magnum opus hasn't been lost forever. The idea for the film apparently came to Cronenberg after he interviewed Salman Rushdie, and I think he's succeeded somewhat in presenting a fictionalised and impartial view of what living under constant fear for your life must be like. Cronenberg is of course a master of body horror, which is shown off in modest ways during this film, but the instances he uses here don't to me, at least, feel like they're here to shock in and of themselves, but to reinforce the general feeling of unease the film exudes in spades via the muted palette and eerie sound design. Some of the CGI and practical effects might look a little dated by today's standards, but I think some of the more organic and surgical scenes hold up pretty well. While most of the cast do an admirable job, I especially like Ian Holm as a game pod engineer and Willem Dafoe as a backhill illegal spinal surgeon, the two leads have the lion's share of screen time, and if they couldn't carry out their roles, well, it'd turn the film into a complete mess. Lee plays the game designer pretty well, smart, somewhat awkward around people, fiercely protective of her creation, and her character is even introduced to the audience, loudly proclaiming the greatness of the medium of game, whilst Law plays her inexperienced and unprepared bodyguard equally convincingly becoming increasingly paranoid about the reality around him. Maybe I'm reading too much into the film here, or maybe this will say more about me than the film, but there's a hell of a lot of sexual allegory present. I suppose that's pretty unavoidable, really, with all the fleshy appendages entering body holes. Although the genius of it comes from the way it's framed, with Law playing the part of the nervous and uninitiated virgin, and Lee playing the eager, enthusiastic veteran. What made me most interested about the film, though, is how prescient it appears to be about narrative problems that video game as an interactive medium did face at the time, and to an extent still struggle with. So-so dialogue, poor voice acting, contrived attempts at romance, jarring NPC interactions and a lack of meaningful choice. And although this may be me looking for meaning where none exists, there may be a comment being made about how awful the working conditions in some game studios are. Having said that, elsewhere the movie misrepresents how games nowadays are made, and the role of a game designer, so maybe I'm wrong on that count. I risk putting out some spoilers from here on, but I will say the story does start trying to contort itself into too many twists towards the end, possibly trying to emulate the raising of stakes that are present in many video game stories, but that reeks of excuses. It is acknowledged during the film how ridiculous the sheer amount of twists and new plot points is, but I'm not sure that should count as an excuse for trying to lose your audience. If you can't tell though, I really enjoyed this film. I'd recommend it to anyone who enjoyed The Matrix or Inception, or even if they have a passing interest in game design. Sure, it has criticisms of games, but I think it's clear Cronenberg has a genuine respect for their potential. All of that accompanied by an unsettling atmosphere and decent acting. I dare say I'm not the only one that this will have passed by. Thanks if you managed to get this far in this video. I really enjoy doing these. So if you have any suggestions, why not put them in the comment section? Or uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button, then you can be informed about when I put the next one up. They're coming out weekly at this point, so I should have one next Saturday.